Right, here we go, one last time, flip the coin, and then we of course check the coin, and we keep the coin, and welcome to the CDT division, last game of the regular season, week 14, now it's season number 10, it's coming in a wrap, but we're leading in the playoffs, so what have we got for you delightful little, oh good, they brought beer, you lucky buggers, about bloody time someone got the right of it. Yes, it's a classic matchup here. You've got the Norse here up against. Yes, it's the Bretonians. And it's coming down to the final wire here. Now, Norse, they've pretty much secured the position. I don't think they're going to get knocked out. They're going to be in the first round, of course. Whether they stay around, we'll see what happens. Boy, is the pressure on them. They want to perform this game to show they belong in the playoffs. Rogue Apothecaries, you know, they look at the numbers. They figure they're probably out. But they'd like to make a good showing. It's it's just the team hasn't been up to the quality of the coach. No, really it hasn't. You thought, I've watched all season, and it's been rage-inducing to this cast to watching all the things that have been inflicted on them. I blame the peasants. Well, there we go. Ready to go. The Rogue Apothecary is going to set up a better defense to go and take these guys. Right. This should be good. Excellent. Of course, you know, this means war. So let's see it for them. And now we have to wait for the bloody bastards to actually you know, get into position here. Come on, shifting over. It's a brilliant onside kick. Norse are going to have their hands full. Of course, as you can see here, a cameo. Of course, it's been rumored they've been slipped money by a particular Kislev team here to recruit somebody to give them a wee bit more punch. So Mighty Zog has shown up for one last time. This seems to be a thing in the Nats Season 10. Just like last year, week 14, you can expect one or two of the greatest stars to show up just as a cameo, probably for sales, and of course promotion for season 11 coming up after the playoffs. Alright lads, let's get this started here. Can he actually go get the ball? Now the Norse are thinking about it, they're going to have to figure out some solution. So they're bringing up every other player they've got here. Now they do have a few somewhat useful skills. At least the rumor has it. And they frenzy way into Zog. Well, that achieved. Finally, a hit. He's taking advantage of the claws. Zog's down. But don't worry. I can see his supporters are already, you know, starting up. You know, loading up the full beer cans from the beer stands. They're going to make them pay for that one. Ah, let's get for full beers over here. Well, don't worry. By the course of this game, I should be able to drain those whistles in no time. So, Norse. After, as I said, prove that they actually belong in the upcoming playoffs. As far as well, the Apothecary is here. Yeah, they basically would like to demonstrate that, you know what, they should have been there, but the team's just not up to the caliber. So, at least not this not this season, maybe next season, lad. Mighty Zog. Well, he seems to have hogged all the glory here. The Blitz gets nowhere. And Zog's quite an interesting character. Strength 5, armor 9. His moment sucks. He's 4, but he's got block and he's got Monty Blow. You pretty much want to be striking away with him every single turn. And there you go. The power of Dotless. And well... Ah, that should work, shouldn't it? No? Okay, how about you? Well, that's a start, isn't it? Oh, time. I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Well, let's hit it for the peons. Well, considering what Skull has threatened his peons with, I think they actually want to make a good showing this game. Boy, good showing. I can see they've actually watched their faces and maybe even slightly cleaned their hands. I'm not going to ask about the rest of them. Oh, I'm not even going to look. There we go. Frenzy attack up the center. And he still hasn't gotten anywhere. Well, don't worry, the Norse. They figure they got plenty of days here to just keep pummeling away. And you're starting to see something very funny by the Norse here. This has been one of those seasons where, you know, the defense has actually been pretty good. It's dealt with all kinds of problems, but the offense has been kind of a bit of a misfire. It's all about, you know, having to figure out, instead of hitting him, actually having to score a touchdown. And... Well, as you can see, uh, they've had a wee bit of a problem with this little thing. Don't rub its belly, apparently. Well, here we go. Most useless fight of all you've ever seen. 
Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. One. One. All right, I'll say that again. Yeah, yeah. One. You shot at seven. Yeah, yeah. One. Well, I think we're going to have a wee pig word with the you know, Wizards Guild about you know, how effective that player was. Of course, I uh, have one of you the uh, Rouge Apothecaries here. Should have been a bit suspicious considering the interesting Nordic accent that wizard actually had. Well, there we go. Nice, good, solid hit. I have not even begun to fight. You say it and you speak it true. There's a brilliant play. And either way, he's screwed. Yes, it's two red dice, but now it's strip, ball, and wrestle. He got him. He absolutely got him. That's a brilliant play there. And suddenly the both are going, Right, dibs, that ball is mine. But they have to get to it first. Oh, you know, one thing at a time here, lads. And now the Bertonians are pouring in. He even makes the dodge. He's even got the ball. And I think that lad's going to be gone with it. Well, let's come back here. Well, once again, the wild animal fails to embrace his inner, well, growl. And this peon's doing a great job. Push me, push you. Sure, he'll stay there all bloody day. And the Norse have now found themselves in a wee bit of a pose here. They've got to go get this thing. And yep, you can see in there, dodging. Yep, the Norse do have dodging ability. More push me, push you. Now it's two dice off field. Gets away with it. Alright, well, Zog's out of position, but you know what? I don't think he really cares at this point as long as he gets to hit something. Here come the Norse. Everything. And in the end, he has to re-roll that. Does get the solid hit. And down goes the lad. Ball bounces away. And he's going to go try and get this thing. That's the last draw. Of course, that doesn't stop the Bretonians from going, you know what? No, we want the ball. Piss off. And that blitz does work. He's got the ball again. And now he's tucked himself away to, well, help out the rest of these fine and upstanding you know, smelly lads. I got him. <laughs> It's a stun. Oh, I hate to say it. He'll take it. <laughs> because guess who's got the ball? This guy. Right. Zog's having a wee bit of a problem here. A lot of pushing by Zog, but he's doing his job. He's tying up players. Not the way she likes it. Of course, for the right credit card. And the right deposit. Anyone can... You know what? Never mind. I'm not advertising for that wench today. Let's get back to the other wenching, the way it's meant to be. And here we go. Solid fend, at least. He's away. And you've got everyone parked up. Not a very effective turn. Oh, God, what is wrong with that damn beast? You're a goddamn disgrace! Well, three turns in a row, it's not getting anywhere. And the Norse have got no choice, but they, well, do this the old-fashioned way. Mike's the dodge away. And he's coming opening in. And he's got him again. Now cut that out! And the ball is free one more time. Mike's the dodge. Doesn't try to pick up the ball though. That might have been a smart move here. But we'll see. More fending. Now the rest of the Norse here, well they found themselves in a bit of a problem. But they'll do what they do best. And what? Well, there's another one down. How about over here? Oh, look, they got it again. You wouldn't let me join, would you, you blackballing bastards? Well, Batonian's not too happy about that. And we're going right back to, oh, here's the problem. Block me, block you. And this Norse has got quite a lot of them. And there goes the wrestle. Fails the dodge. Would you like to try that again there, lad? Oh, uh, well, that didn't work, did it? That's, a, that's a horrible play. 
And suddenly the Norse are going, he can actually get the bloody ball back. And that's exactly their intentions. Uh, once they actually figured out how to hit something. Would you like to try that again, lad? No? Now today? How about you? See, there you go. And down goes the poor lad. More Norse getting back into the play. How about you? Oh, look, what will he roll that one? And, well, he's got the tackle. Come on, get back on there. He's not in the injury box. There you go, Norse coming themselves back up. And now, believe it or not, they're actually marking the ball. And, of course, this bugger is still not getting up. And, of course, he fails to go for Whoa. it. Of course. Well, the Bretonians suddenly have realized, well, the ball's in the end zone, but there's definitely not someone standing up carrying the thing. Let's go get it. Maybe. <laughs> Absolutely a great day, isn't it? This is My advice to you. Start drinking heavily. Yep. Completely agree with that voice. What well, the ball's out of the end zone, but does he actually try to throw it? Really? Well, the crowd takes the ball. Where are they heaving it? Well, they're putting it over there. Well, the plan sort of worked. There's something squally around here. I'll say that much. I don't know whose side the fans are on. Salted punch down. Down goes that blitzer. Well, he's stunned for a while. And the Norse, well, it's a ball handling game, not what they came here for. Ah, God, he's still not getting up. What's that now? Yep, that's four for six. He's just not doing nothing. And the Norse have actually found a way to get the ball. Dodging out of the end zone, maybe parking for later. It, when you see a Norse team having to do a dodging game, you know just how crazy the game's actually gone. There we go, more push me, push you. Would anyone else like to try? No, back to the Bretonians. Now oh, look, push me, push you. Everyone's favourite game. I think they're fondling them. Oh yeah, it's just a quick inspection. And it comes. Mass arrows of and he gets the bastard. Down he goes. Just to make sure the ball is free. And the Bretonians are coming scrambling back, actually deciding to get this thing, and he's got it. Another solid punch here on the flak, the Bretonians, well, <laughs> they're not giving this one up easy. And now, does the mighty Zug actually do something useful finally? Yes, he got him! <laughs> it's about time. Six turns later, Zorg actually throws a useful punch, and the Bretonians come charging back up the field. Norse, turn seven. Well, this hasn't gone the way it's planned. This is not according to the script, is it? Would you like to go get the ball back? Hey, look who stood up. It's Yiffy. Well, he got someone in there. Oh god, that didn't work, did it? Hey you! Come back here! Well he's marked him up! And there's the crazy dodge. Does he actually get the hit? Yes he does! You know, I'm starting to think the ball's just a beacon for punches. And then of course this one takes a dive. And well he's down one more time. You don't frighten us, English pig dogs! Well, they're Norse, not English, but, you know, I, I, he's a peon, you know. <laughs> you just tell him that, he'll just act that way anyway. Bretonians, coming back up, turn seven. Have they achieved the objective? Well, this is becoming any given Sunday, yeah, but, you know, they wouldn't mind scoring the bloody thing, but, eh, maybe? Step one, let's actually, you know, clear the ball away and actually try and do something. Oh, look, someone's got dodge. What a novel concept. Well, here it comes. Matt Scramble, and he's got the ball, and the lad is away. Straight into the ground. Great. Absolutely. Stand up, boy. You're tripping over your own feet. <laughs> I don't blame you. Come on, lad. You want to try that again? There you go. 
Any more? Don't feel like it. I didn't think so. And here come the Bretonians. <laughs> block on block. <laughs> Zog's got to be frustrated by this. You brought him in for a blocking team. Most frustrating days out all week. That was before he came back from the brothel. <laughs> After Griff had been there. Anyway. Norse. It's turn eight. And guess who's got the ball? <laughs> Here's a clue. It's not them. And again, frenzying away, not getting anywhere. Finally, if he decides to actually take part in the game again. And does he get anywhere? And he's finally got something. Maybe he should have been using them more often. Well, who knows? And the Norse, once again, are going to at least try and do something here. It's a push me, push you. He'll take it. And otherwise, the Norse are basically now going to have to mark up possible eligible receivers. Well, what else are they supposed to do at this point here? Is this thing go according to plan? And here come the Protonians one more time. Can they get them? I fart in your general direction. <sighs> and you wonder why they didn't get invited to the uh, you know, pre-playoff party. Anyway, the Bretonians. Did they want to score? Well, they could, potentially. It's a hell of a long shot, but you know what? He's actually going for it. And the lad is in. The lad is absolutely in. It's great, isn't it? Inconceivable. No, it's great. Anyway. Going out for the half there. Suddenly the Norse, they've got a problem. <laughs> They've got some honor to restore. They do get the one KO back. And what, returning the favor, of course, is the Bretonians. Well, they don't call them the Apothecaries for nothing. They've gotten really good at that. So, let's look at the lineup here. For the Rogue Apothecaries, it's quite the combination of additional skills on top of the normal ones. This is actually an insight of brilliance. Now, I'll just say it right there. A Bretonian Blitzer with Strip Ball and Wrestle... Two red dice is the one thing you do not want him rolling. <laughs> because even with that, odds are, unless you have show hands, two out of three times, that ball's going somewhere. My highest compliments to the coach for figuring that one out. I'm going to have to borrow that one in a tournament someday. So the Petonians, well, honor's been proven so far. It's 1-0, but can they make it two? You know what? Challenge accepted. And there it is, it's an absolutely high kick. Here it goes. It's good. And there was much rejoicing. Well, that's been going on with this team all day. Alright, let's see if the lads got it. I think so. Come on out the rafters. Beautiful catch. Alright. And here we go, Team Britonia. Well, who does he want to throw a punch? You know, that's not it. Oh, you're an, it's such an idiot. Oh, God. Zug, why? It's great. Well, we are going to die. I won't go that far. Considering, guess who just returned the favor? <laughs> yes, it's a lone of fist, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the array. That's a lot of ones. Well. So much for that plan. Norse are going to have to come up with the other other plan. Now remember, plan B in the Nats is kill everyone. And we've seen this season. The season of fatality. That has worked exceptionally well. What were you thinking? He's got Fend. That doesn't work. You know, it's rather clear here that unfortunately the chaos of the Norse team has gone into this game rather sober. He's going to have to correct this if he expects to do well in the playoffs. Well, the Bretonians, well, casually have decided, well, they've still got the ball. And after that little misstep, let's actually get to work here. And it's a wonderful hit. Down he goes. Message for you, sir. Uh, the Norse are just going to have to take that one. And it's just the way they do like taking it. Yeah, unfortunately, right in the face. 
quick little handoff there, and well, that lad is off and running, and he's going, I dare you, I double dare you, come get me. Well, it's a fantastic and fine upstanding trip. Uh, let's see if you can get any further. Uh, is it supposed to be this soft? Well, apparently that bleeding heart is. And down he goes with a free KO. Okay, Norse. After that little comedy news, can you actually turn this one around? Well, he's turned that one around. And there was much rejoicing. Uh, and let's see what this chitty little lad can do. Oh, look! Yiffy, you're taking part. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that on the sport commentary. Great. Well, frenzy number one. Let's try that again. There you go. Balls free. That's and there was much rejoicing. You never get tired of that one. A uh, clobbering, punishing blow on the sidelines. And the rest of the Norse, well, this has turned around, hasn't it? They're quite delighted, and of course they'd run into Fend, as little Percy here does his job. Elf on the sidelines here. Fend once more. How about fall down once more? Oh, jolly good. Oh, look, he's still alive. Defective peon, clearly. Well, that's probably why he keeps all the dirt on. It's extra padding. We've heard this before. Well, the Petonians would look up, like to go up 2-0. Now you start to see the advantages of, well... Ah, uh, sorry. Come on, get up, you dumb idiot. See, that's better. Alright, who's getting the ball? That's a blitz away. Well, that didn't achieve anything. Dodges away, does he want to get the ball? How about you? That's a wrestle. Wonderful. And there it goes, a quick little dodge away. And let's see what the Norse can actually do about this one. They'd like to actually score this back. But this is a little frustrating, isn't it? Now he decides not to bring another player back into the play. He's quite satisfied with this stack up. Well, he's pretty satisfied. But here's one he's got to bring all the way back into the play. He makes the dodge away, gets the ball. Everything is going well. There's the handoff. And he's got a player on his way in for the quick score. If he could actually learn how to stand up. Nothing is over until we decide it is. <sighs> this peon's dropping them crazy here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, frenzy does not work. All right. Oh god, that was horrible. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing blue. Well, thank you, Zog. I didn't need to know about your habits. Ah, uh, that's a big one, the Norse. <laughs> oh, definitely cheating that. Zog off the field. Makes life so much easier. But, are the Bretonians going to just let this one prance in? Or are they going to try and take this one out? Well, let's see how they end up dealing with this problem here. Like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. Well, the apothecary quickly comes out on that death strike. And, well, the Pretonians, they've got new fire. Somewhere. Come on, get up, you stupid twat. And it's a skull. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit drinking. All right, Norse, what can you do about this one? Well, you can score, but now they're thinking, you know what, we actually might get some damage in here. I don't blame them at this point here. Solid punch. Ah, uh, well, that's not too good, but then again, tell you. Get puppy, dog. Give him another hit in the head, bad old putty cat. 
And frenzying away here down the field just to show them they can keep doing it. There goes another lad. And the Norse easily pranks that one. In for the touchdown. There they are. They are on the board. Ah, well, so much for that well, idea. Back to the old drawing board. Well, it was a solid drive, I would say that. Of course, you know, I'd say that, not the coach. Uh, was everything that could possibly go wrong. Look at the casualties out of that drive. Both sides, incredible levels of punishment. So now we're back to the Bretonians getting back into this one here. Four turns. That's pretty easy from a Bretonian viewpoint. But you have noticed something, haven't you? Where all the rerolls, they're gone. The Norse, however, still sitting on two, and the fans have definitely shown up to show them what for. Oh, goody! An extra reroll for the Norse, because, like, they need it at this point here. Well, let's see what the Bretonians can do to start this drive off. Well, wow, there's a solid punch to the face. How about you, lad? Yeah, more solid punching. And that Norse Knight Invulnerable Teak Elven Armor seems to be doing quite well. Well, he brings in the extra one here. How yiffy, how are you feeling? Not so well. Now yeah, push me, push you. And the Norse feeling quite full of themselves. Are just eagerly awaiting the Bretonians to come in and engage. And well, definitely obliging. Down goes that lad. And he's... Pouring it away for possibly a very quick score. Alright, lad. Do you have the ball? Yes, you do. Now, what are you doing with it? It's a good throw, and it's a good catch. Well done. And this lad, well, that's about as far as he decides he's going to go. He's going to wait for the rest of the team to maybe show up. Yeah, that's the rest of the team. One player. <laughs> that's the kind of game this is becoming. Well, the Norse have got their hairs on. And you can hear, you can see their beard hairs. Now those aren't beard hairs. Yeah. Flapping in the wind freely. And off he goes. It doesn't frenzy, lad. But maybe that was the plan he just wanted to pee on. Now he's peeing on something, alright. Unzip fly at 20 paces. Alright, Berserker. And now you're at one die. And you're lucky you get away with that one. This is a wide open now. And he comes. Oh, Norse have stacked this one up all right. And it's a really good move by the Norse team to try and contain this advance. Meanwhile, well, old Yiffy's getting back to work up the center. And of course, once again, push me, push you, sweet bugger all. Bretonians, turn 14. Well, this is a bit of a mess, isn't it? Oh, well, challenge accepted. Let's get back to work again. A minor adjustment of positioning here. Well, they do have an extra turn or two, so you know what? Let's shift around. Let's even go the other way. Well, there's a good solid hit. And yes, indeed, the Bretonians are sorry. Let's actually shift the attack and let's go the other way. They've got the turns for it. They can break this player free, and yes, they do. It does open up all kinds of possibilities. Well, he leads with his chin there. That opens up all kinds of things for the Norse. Three rerolls. Oh, you can see what they're thinking here. And it's more beer. <laughs> Double skulls, what a wonderful way to waste away a good roll. Solid it, and the peon's done his job. He's not going anywhere. Running out of view goes the Norse flanker. Yeah, he likes flanking something. Flanker, he only knows it. But that's alright, he's got her phone number and her pint size. Well, the Norse are conceding at this point here. It's probably going to end in a tie. Probably. I'm starting to wonder why you dodged away on that one. Didn't serve much purpose, but you know what? Jilty 2, 
You should have just stood there, you Norse. All right. But then his thinking is, it's a player with tackle. He needs him over here. Fine. And here come the Bretonians. It's an absolute potato blitz away play. And at this point here, yeah, that's not a bad play at all. In fact, it's a very light screen. We'll see how effective that is. Makes the jump up. Well, he's been pretty good. Well, that does a great job. Hey, everybody! We're all gonna get late! <laughs> Boy, that's an eager team! I'm starting to see why the Rouge of both Gettys are actually putting everything they've got into this game. <laughs> Look, if your coach told you that one, would you play your best? And again, this is what drives you nuts <laughs> if you have a frenzy team. All this bloody fence, you can't frenzy it unless you have, that's right, Juggernaut, and you've got to be on a blitz for that to actually work. Read the fine print. Well, there's a re-roll, and to his frustration, well, he makes the gap, but not the way he wants. Is there anyone else who can actually try it? Well, it's going to have to be this lad. And, well, down he goes. Your so probability much. of success is insignificant and dropping. Ah, uh, that might indeed be it. The Bretonians, though, well, they're not quite just going to score this one here. They're not quite done yet. He's thinking about it. And now he decides... Yep, you've got it. Quick hand off. Gets it. Well, mainly he's got the catch. He's got two cracks at it. And here he comes. And the crowd goes absolutely wild. At least his fans do today. Don't blame him whatsoever. Okay. So there's a bit of a surprise there. 2-1 so far for the Bretonians. See, this game is showing just give them an average day. There's wonders this team can actually do. Review his season. You'll see what I mean. It was tough. Well, it's gonna, probably going to come down to the math now. 2-1. It's an honorable... Uh, unless we get a riot. So let's not jinx it here. And the Bretonians, well, incredibly conservative, just in case there is the riot. As for the peons, you're about to do what your duty actually is. <laughs> he said duty. All right, Norse. Can you hurry up and get in position here? You know, I've got some drinking to do here. <sighs> Come on. Are we ready to go now? Can we have the kick? Thank you! There it is! Well, it's not a re-roll. Excellent! Not that it does him any good! See, this has now become one of those crazy ones. Because now he's going to have piles of re-rolls, but he's not winning, is he? Oh, those are funny great jobs! I knew I should have taken that left coin of Albuquerque. Well, it works out just fantastic for the Norse, you know, it's another casually going into the next round, and he even gets a KO. Mind he doesn't want a KO, he wants a casualty. Yeah, well, he can't have everything. Of course, according to his wife, oh no, she can have everything, she married him. And uh, there's the, well, attempt at a pass, would you like to try that one more time here, lad? There's the pass. And he got it. There you go. Constable Ed's going to call that one. He's enjoyed watching that. There's your final result. Big surprise. 2-1. Rouge of Portfagetis against the Norsekin Wolves there in the CDT division. And now we're going to see what the final results are determining for the playoffs. Coming up, your last entire game of the regular season. We'll be going to the Ulligan division. You're in for a surprise. Nuffle. Bless your dice.